Hello everybody. My name is Najwa. I am the head of the Jobs Fund at the National Treasury. I am truly sorry that I cannot be there in person to celebrate with you the amazing achievements of these farmers. Today we have come together both physically and remotely to celebrate the successful implementation of the DFDC Commercialization Program, an initiative of the Deciduous Fruit Development Chamber and implemented by DFPT Hortgrow. Warm greetings to all the farmers, steering committee members, the project management team, the jobs fund team and all stakeholders. This celebration would not be possible without the contribution of each and every one of you. For too long in our history, smallholder farmers and emerging farmers have been excluded from commercial value chains, stuck and struggling to survive at the primary production level. Today's celebrations is about the specific actions that have been taken to change the farming trajectory of the farmers who have participated in this program. In 2015, the Jobs Fund launched a dedicated agriculture funding round. The objective was to catalyze change and break down the barriers to entry for smallholder and emerging farmers. The Jobs Fund wanted to support innovative initiatives that would begin to catalyze systemic change in the agriculture sector. We wanted to support those initiatives that would develop an enabling ecosystem that not only provided tailor-made support, but that was also comprehensive in the services it provided to farmers. The DFDC commercialization program responded well to our call to action. The fund particularly appreciated the program's objectives was so closely aligned to our own. Establishing an ecosystem of support that included securing and enhancing market access for black smallholder farmers, linking farmers to nurseries to provide the all-important roost stock, pack house facilities, mentorship and market access, thereby improving the farmers' competitiveness and securing long-term sustainability for their operations. The Jobs Fund partnership with the commercialization program began in November 2015. Over the past five years, the DFDC program has established on 21 black-owned farms over 300 hectares of pomay and stone fruit. This was achieved in spite of a serious drought that gripped the country during the implementation. For me, this is testimony to the grit of the participating farmers. To mention but a few, Clip Fontaine, Derek Pricha, Derek and his wife Marlene developed the DNM fresh fruit packing business against the odds. Their son Marlon managing the packers, pack house. Lavoye, Raymond Koopstad and his wife Mary making bold decisions in restructuring their business to make it more viable. Trevor's farm, Trevor Abrams and family, Amanzi, Errol April and family, Lakeview, Christelle Fortain, Klein Eseljacht, Andre Kluter and his family, Andre's activism, his willingness to mentor others, an example of giving back to the community. Defane, a key initiative given the lack of black-owned nurseries in the industry. Jackie Goliath and Elton Jeptas propagating and selling containerized fainbos plants and deciduous fruit trees, amongst the first to do so. Cortina, Richard Mayberg and his family, pushing the boundaries of innovation. Many of these farmers recognized by the industry and winning many awards amongst them. I want to applaud the Deciduous Fruit Producers Trust, the Deciduous Fruit Development Chamber, Hortgrow, for their commitment to smallholder emerging farmer development. I want to applaud the strategic partners and mentors, including Stargro, the Carstens and the Toy Groups, Verdun Estates, Golden Harvest Fruit Exports, DC Fruit Packers, Two-A-Day and many others, including government departments, in particular the Western Cape Department of Agriculture and Land Reform. I am deeply saddened to learn of the untimely passing of Mr. Boki Kristzinger, of Tulpi's Kraal Farm. 
His commitment to improving the lives of his workers showed true commitment to the country's transformation agenda. To see his sons follow in his footsteps is indeed heartening. I also want to congratulate the project implementation teams, Hort Crow, Jobs Fund and everyone involved in making this project the success it has been. This program has been instructive in demonstrating the importance of strategic partnerships, paying proper attention to empowerment structures that work at farm level, the importance of mentorship and a willingness and openness to adopting new ideas, the importance of adopting an ecosystem of development, access, access to funding on its own is not a sufficient criteria for success. Building a pipeline of future farmers, the importance of patient capital and being equally invested, invested in successful outcomes. The program has been instructive in the human spirit to defying the odds. To the 21 farmers that participated in the program, I would like to thank you for your resilience, your willingness to listen, experiment and beat the odds. I know the journey has not been easy and that there are still many challenges that lie ahead. You have created nearly 200 permanent jobs, more than 800 seasonal permanent jobs and more than 600 short-term jobs. In closure, I would like to say a lot more work is required from all of us and the road ahead will not be easy. But let that not stop us from reflecting on the incredible achievements of this program. Let us fully appreciate the valuable work that has been done, the efforts of the men and women who tirelessly toil to secure a better future. Let us all commit to doing what is necessary for a more inclusive agriculture sector. Onwards and upwards. Years to continued success for all of you. I thank you.